Hi everyone, I hope you're well. In today's video, I'm going to show you behind the scenes of the bride and groom portrait shoot that I did in Manchester city centre. So before I get onto the shoot, just a little quick backstory about how this shoot came about. I photographed Faye and Woody's wedding in February this year in Manchester. It was an amazing day, I absolutely loved it, but in, <laughs> in true Manchester style, the weather on the day was absolutely awful. It was terrible. Now, Faye and Woody live in the city centre and before the wedding they've been telling me about how they really wanted to incorporate the architecture of the city into their wedding photographs and the plan on the wedding day was for us to go out and take portraits around the city center but the weather on the day or more specifically storm dennis meant that we just couldn't do that so on the wedding day itself i suggested to them both that rather than us attempting to take photographs in the wind and the rain it would have just been a nightmare i suggested that we meet up again in the summer and take photographs on a really nice summer's evening to make up for it and that is how this shoot came to be so all the video that you see in this video was taken by a GoPro that was mounted onto my camera and all the photographs that you see in the video were taken on my Sony a9 cameras so on with the shoot yeah anywhere there is cool I need to go just to turn just to face each other if that's all right and that's all I'm gonna actually do for now just nice and close that's good light yeah yeah, Manchester's going to do us proud tonight. So it's going to squeeze you in even close with your body, if that's all right. So you scrunch, that's it. Perfect, you too. Beautiful. So unlike on a wedding day, when I do try to have more of a plan, I basically made everything up on this shoot as we walked through the city. We started just by Chetham's Library, which is the venue in Manchester where Faye and Woody got married, and we walked from there, but we didn't really have a plan as such, which I really liked as it made the whole shoot feel really relaxed and fun. One second. Yeah, I'm go. Perfect. Yeah, brilliant. I think we got that, but we'll come a bit closer to you and just do that, do that one more time, exactly what you did. Actually, Faye, could you hold that back, back right, with your right hand? That's it, and, and just exactly, so try to just keep that distance between you, so you sort of walking in a straight line, but looking back, that's it there. Yeah. Good, you two. I took four lenses with me on the shoot, my Sony 16 to 35mm 2.8, Samyang 45mm tilt shift, Sony 85mm 1.8 and my Sigma 135mm 1.8. It's brilliant you two, exactly as you are. If this were a portrait shoot on a wedding day, I would usually just use a 35mm and 85mm lens, but as this was a more relaxed portrait shoot and we had lots of time on our side, I took more lenses than I usually would. This is actually the first time I've used a tilt shift lens since moving to Sony. I'm not really a huge fan of tilt shift lenses, but in certain situations their unique look can look really effective, as I thought it did here. Now Faye, if you can just hold your dress again, that's right, with your right hand, but still whilst looking at Woody for me. That's it. So you're facing each other this time, arms wrapped around each other. As we're still social distancing in the UK, I had to adapt how I work for this shoot, in particular staying further back from Faye and Woody than I normally would have done. This is the reason that I didn't bring my 35mm 1.8 lens, because I love using that lens when I'm physically quite close to my bride and grooms, so I thought if I didn't take it, it would take that temptation away from me. 
Now usually Manchester is extremely busy day or night and would have been full of traffic but due to the current situation there was virtually no traffic around which was just amazing. This shot for example would have been impossible on a normal day in the city centre. If everything were normal and there was traffic around I would usually try and incorporate that into the images as I feel as though that is part of the story of a city centre portrait shoot. So in the absence of traffic if I saw a cyclist going past I tried my best to capture it. Now I only ever loosely pose my bride and groom because I want them to feel relaxed and to enjoy themselves. So for photographs like this, all I ever ask is that my couples hold hands and look at each other. I feel as though asking couples to do anything more than that has the potential of making them feel awkward. This shot was a bit cheesy, but I couldn't resist incorporating this Hello Manchester sign, especially as it had the Manchester Bee on it as well. Again, this shot with Faye and Woody walking down what would usually be one of Manchester's busiest roads would usually have been impossible. This made these photographs all the more special I feel because they really capture this moment in time. I'm just very quickly interrupting the video to let you know that from now on, members of my Patreon will receive bonus content for each video that I upload to YouTube. So if you watch this video in my Patreon, you're going to see me editing some of my favorite photographs from this shoot at the end of the video. Plus, as a member of the Patreon, not only will you gain access to lots of exclusive content, but you'll also gain membership to a private Facebook group where you can ask me any questions that you may have. The link to my Patreon is in the description description. Manchester Town Hall is being renovated at the moment and there is scaffolding and building work going on all around it but by turning all the building work into silhouettes we could create this photograph. <laughs> 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 
By this point, we'd done a lot of walking and Faye's feet were starting to hurt a bit. So she asked Woody to give her a piggyback. I always feel it's important to capture these moments in between the setup portraits because they really capture the personalities of the couple. And I love these photographs for that reason. As we were walking towards our last location, I noticed this area which allowed us to get the very, very last moments of direct sunlight before the sun set. We only had a few seconds to get this shot, but I'm really pleased that we managed it. After the sun had set, I wanted to take a few off-camera flash photographs. These shots, which were taken with my Godox speed light and triggers, are some of my favourites from the shoot and I was really impressed that I was still able to trigger the speed light, bearing in mind just how far away I was. So just to say a huge thank you to both Faye and Woody for being so amazing and for allowing me to make this video. I've loved getting to know you both and I wish you all the very best for your futures together. So as always, if you have enjoyed the video, I would really appreciate it if you could please like the video and also please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't done so already. So thank you very much again for watching and I will see you next time.